Australia's honeybees are some of the healthiest in the world, free from many of the pests and diseases found elsewhere. Australia's honeybee biosecurity system plays a crucial role in protecting the health of our honeybees. Honeybee biosecurity is a set of measures designed to protect your honeybees. Bee biosecurity is important to Australia because of the significance of bees and the industries in which they support, but not only that, the industry itself, which is highly productive and unique, which needs to be safeguarded. Every beekeeper, whether you own one hive or a thousand, and every person visiting or working in an apiary has a role to play in protecting honeybees from established and exotic pests. A healthy population of honeybees ensures the success of the honeybee industry and the many plant industries that rely on them for pollination. Every pest or disease that enters and becomes established in an apiary has the potential to increase the costs for additional monitoring, chemical use and labour. Colony yield and performance may decrease and valuable markets, particularly overseas, may be lost. There are six easy ways to protect your honeybees. You should be aware of the key pests and diseases present in Australia, such as small hive beetle, American fowl brood or nosema. These can affect the strength and productivity of colonies and require constant management. When inspecting your hives, always be on the lookout for these established pests and other pests that might be new to the country. There's more information about pests and what to look for in your biosecurity manual. Try to make sure that any new bee stock or equipment is free from pests and disease. Buy packaged and queen bees from trusted apiary sources that are preferably certified. Within one month of arrival, check to see that the new stock is reproducing by looking for new brood cells. Keep details of all apiary inputs, such as the supplier's name and the delivery date, so you can track where pests may have come from. Well, one of the rules of the apiary here is that we don't bring any gear in. Um, we only use hive tools, smokers, uh, gloves that is actually located on site. And we make sure that every time we go out of the apiary, that if the, if the hive tool's got propolis and wax and honey on it, that all gets a hot scrub and wash. So that if there's anything on one hive that's a bit suspicious, you don't move that gear to the next hive. Many pests and diseases can be transferred into clean apiaries via honey, beekeeping equipment and boxes, and utensils such as hand tools. Using good hygiene will prevent the entry and the spread of pests within and between apiaries. Workers, visitors, vehicles and equipment can all spread pests, so make sure they are clean before entering and leaving the apiary. Well, we, uh, we use software to track all of our colonies and, um, and we have a, a strict um, barrier system between each hive, so all the material from one hive only goes back into that hive and if it gets confused, it gets irradiated. Um, so that's how we make sure we don't spread diseases around between our colonies. Um, and any dead outs we have, we also irradiate. Obviously spilled honey and so forth is a risk, so we try and minimise any of that sort of thing and clean up any spills um, and try and maintain our security between sites. Some of our sites are particularly sensitive and we have to actually clean our equipment going into the site to make sure we're not bringing things in. Learning how to inspect hives can help you control pests in your colonies. Monitor hives and the health of the honeybee brood frequently. Brood combs should be inspected regularly throughout spring, summer and autumn. Being familiar with normal honeybee behaviour and productivity of your hives will help you to spot anything new or unusual. Keep notes and photographs of what you see and report anything unusual. We do lots of checks on our hives. Um, some of our hives are quite close to things like the airport. So we, um, we do sugar shaking and we do uncapping of drone brood, looking for things like Varroa. Hopefully we'll never find it. Um, but also AFB is a big problem, uh, even in urban areas like ours, AFB is a big problem. So we do um, every quarter, we do full AFB checks of the brood um, going through and making sure our colonies are healthy. And of course, if we do find disease, then dealing with that. Respect and be aware of laws and regulations that are there to protect the health of honeybees and related industries. The Code of Practice has been endorsed by the industry to help both professional and hobby beekeepers to meet their obligations in bee biosecurity. Even though some pests and diseases may be established in some parts of Australia, there may still be a need to notify your local authorities or other states and territories. If in doubt, talk to your local department of primary industry about your legal responsibilities. 
early detection and reporting improves the chances of containing and eradicating any new pests. If you see anything unusual on your bees, call the Exotic Plant Pest Hotline on 1800 084 881. The Bee Biosecurity Code of Practice outlines what you need to do to keep your bees healthy and help protect the Australia honeybee industry as a whole. For more information about bee biosecurity, the code of practice, pollination of crops by honeybees, pests, news and videos, go to the Be Aware website at beaware.org.au.